Okay, so I'm going to use CA to glue this little bracket on the inside of the fuselage so that there's like a little step that the door can sit on. So all I do is I just, this is glass with a bit of packing tape here. The CA will not stick to packing tape at all. So I use it anytime I need to protect the surface from getting glue on it. I use that. And then I've got a little teeny drop of glue in this pipette here. And just touch that to the joint. Basically, I can just set that in the corner and run it all along, and there you go. Glue will just wick in underneath the underneath the joint. And now I've got a little hatch, or oh, hatch step. A little bit of fine sandy paper and just sand that. Okay, good. Just using a sharp carbon edge to scrape away any excess glue while it's still kind of soft. I want the door to fit in here. There we go. See, now you can see there's like a little step, a little Thing has been glued in there a little bracket to make a step so that the door can sit flush in the fuselage see i need to scrape a little bit more to make sure it really gets flush i'm thinking to put like little teeny one millimeter magnets i'm not sure if they'll be strong enough to do much but i'm gonna try we'll see how it goes um yeah, worst case, just a little strip of tape and the door can be flipped up. Or I can just enlarge these holes and go to two millimeter magnets, which I think would probably be strong enough. But you can see, there you go, that's the door. Oops, just fell out. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so that will allow me to insert the RDT and battery, because I want if I want to move it from one airplane to the next, I can pull out the RDT and the battery, put this one aside. The servo will live inside the fuselage permanently. So that's, that kind of doesn't matter. Um, and so the next step will be to see if I can glue the little magnets in and see how they work. Well, aside from that, also scraping a bit more scraping on the inside of this to Clean it up so that the door fits in there nice and perfectly. Okay. Yep. 
Here it is. Door inside. Alrighty. Hmm. Oops. Flip that over. There we go. Okay. All right, let's put the magnets in and see what happens. The way I do this, again, same procedure. I can find my little magnets. They're so tiny. They were here just a second ago. But of course, being tiny and magnetic, they've gone off and attached themselves to something. Or I've knocked them away or some such. One is, I don't see the little guys. Let's see if I can. Got a little pile of magnets here. Everything just stuck together. Yeah, these are so tiny. That little tiny dot on the end of my thumb is the magnet. Probably too small to be much use in this application, but we'll see. Give it a try. Worst case, I'll just press them out and try something else. There's another one. Some kind of gunk on these. Set them over there. And here I'm going to essentially do the same thing. I'm going to grab the magnets and just press them into that hole. little holes in the bracket basically and then each little hole is going to get like a, its own tiny drop of CA Soaked up a bit of CA there, using wood to make sure it's pressed in, and any excess CA will wick into the wood. Okay. Okay, so each door has got a I'm just sanding away excess CA here. So now each door has got a little magnet in it. And we will see how that works. I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. So I'll put this so that will sit there. I put little magnets on that guy. I mean, it fits tight enough that it probably doesn't need it, but and I just wonder if they'll actually such tiny magnets may not have the the oomph to hold much. Anyway, next video will show kind of that whole assembly completed.